Super 7 stocked the figure with all the contents and none of the contractions. Here's your look at the new Super 7 Star Trek The Next Generation Lieutenant Commander Data. An android, Data is remarkably human-like with phenomenal computational skills, extreme strength, and incredible heuristic learning capabilities. Data is the model Starfleet officer, a keen observer he desires to understand and emulate the best that humanity exemplifies. When I heard that Super 7 was going to be doing a Star Trek The Next Generation Ultimates line, I knew we were going to be getting a Data, but I didn't realize we were getting him so soon. Before, of course, we get a closer look. That was terrible. Before, of course, we get a closer look at the new Ultimates Lieutenant Commander Data. Let's grab the tape measure and see how tall the figure stands. You're looking at Data standing about six and three quarters of an inch in height. Or yes, the figure is about 17 centimeters tall. We may not have a captain yet on the bridge, but we can certainly bring in the commander. Here's what Commander Data looks like, or Lieutenant Commander Data looks like, along with Commander Riker. Sized, I feel, pretty appropriately. If anything, I probably could say that Riker may be a tad bit taller in the actual series, but I think they're of a pretty decent height compared to one another. Data does get some standard Starfleet-issued items, but he also gets some items that he can do on off hours. The thing that has me kind of confused, though, is that we've already looked at this with Commander Riker, now we're looking at this with Lieutenant Data, is that he has all these references to poker. You know, I get the idea that they did play poker in the series, more to the later episodes of the series run. But, for, for example, he does come with poker chips. He comes with a small stack of silver coins. I don't even know the denomination of those. And then he also gets ones that have already been thrown to the table. In both cases, these are be easily lost. And I feel like materials could probably have been used and dedicated to other things instead. I mean, until we eventually get ourselves, do we are we planning to get a Super 7 poker table top, just a circular table, where we could put, of course, the crew all around that? I think it's very unlikely. But why do they keep continuing to throw all these poker references in it? Especially with, say, Data. Like, Data, I feel like Data could have had a lot more than just things referencing to poker. If you still feel like you want to have poker stuff, then Data also comes in clue with a fanned out deck of, of cards. Very similar to the ones, we, in fact, we actually got with Riker, although luckily these are still attached to his hands. The review of Riker, you, I mentioned that the removing of this, this hand, not this one, but Riker's hand, did result in me actually pulling the cards off by mistake. Uh, Data's actually are still fully intact. Uh, the, again, nice references. I just don't feel like we need to waste as much plastic on things related to poker. It does one better, though. I mean, they also included uh, data with, of course, a little visor they has on top of his head. Now, I feel like of all of these, this is the biggest waste of plastic. I mean, again, it's fine if you're going to ever have the crew displayed in, in sitting positions. I mean, obviously, we need to still have a table. But then on top of that, what collector is really going to want to put all the crew of the Starfleet, the Starship Enterprise, all sitting down playing poker? I feel like a wasted bit of plastic is this alternate head sculpt. Having a visor makes them so specific to one way of displaying the figure. Deal. If anything, the visor could have been removed and given him instead a, a face sculpt where he would have been, say, malfunctioning. Or I thought, and also a fun thing to include with Data, would have been a sinister sneer of lore. Because this could have been, say, an alternate head sculpt for lore. Uh, I just don't think, like, the visor, as good as it may be with translucent plastic, a little bit of glitter also added in there as well, I just don't think it's ever something I'm ever going to really display with the figure. If you did want to, though... It's just a case of grabbing the figure's body and just popping the head off the ball joint, grabbing the visor head. And you want to make sure when you're putting it down, obviously not putting pressure here. Just putting pressure here will eventually snap the plastic here. And then you'll be crying tears here. So, of course, that's what it looks like when that's plugged in place. So, again, I just don't get it. I, I just don't. I mean, again, for Riker, okay, that's one thing. But then to continue the trend across the board, are we going to get every single crew member all come include with trinkets, tokens from poker. I just don't think it's necessary myself. Data also comes included, I guess, while we're on the topic of other alternate head sculpts, he comes in with this one, which I think makes a little bit more sense. There's often times, of course, we see him in the series where he has things peeled away on his face, and of course, there's always usually things flickering away. This is just one. This one happens just to be plugged into a cable. I feel like the cable really wasn't even necessary. They could have probably just had this being an open area, and even gone in and painted in some little glowing lights that he would have in the series. This makes more sense. Visor poker playing alternate head sculpt for data makes little to no sense if you ask me. 
Again, you're just changing out the heads just in case again. Popping and swapping. Popping and swapping. Uh, the figure also comes included with his violin. Like, this makes a little bit more sense. Violin's been nicely molded here in brown plastic with all the necessary strings all painted here in silver. And again, the little section that rests actually onto his shoulder. The thing, it's a little harder to rest it on his shoulder just because, again, like, the figure's only got single bend elbows. If you wanted to, for example, he has this hand that's really the best for holding, say, the violin. So we're just going to put that hand in place. And then basically, if you want to just take the figure, we just remove the hand. There we go. Pop the new hand in place. You probably could have done this by adding the violin afterwards. And again, if he wants to play along with Riker, because Riker, of course, came with the trombone. That's not what a trombone sounds like. You kind of can get a salvageable him resting against his shoulder. But again, the same problem that Riker sort of had, because he doesn't have a double hinge here, you really can't get the violin far enough closer to his shoulder. So instead, it sort of just looks like, I mean, it looks like he's kind of in between performances. You can kind of have him just displayed with that. And the figure also comes in clear. I think this is actually a bow. That's not what a violin sounds like. And that would just, again, be displayed in his other hand. I wish, though, that the figure does have double hinges on the elbows, but the continued trend, it seems to be, with Super 7, they tend to only usually use single hinges. So it's a little, again, harder to get that really close. Yeah, you can't you can't do it. Can't get that close enough to date his head. Uh, the other fig figure's accessories, um, he also comes with, uh, again, a couple of gripping hands. Hands for suitable for holding, say, the phaser, because, again, the figure also comes included with a Type 2 hand phaser. The phaser fits just the same as basically Riker. I wouldn't be surprised at all if this isn't the same hand that we got included with Riker, just, of course, colored in the more pale color complexion that Data would also have as well. To pull the hand phaser out, I'm just going to grab off to the side here, the one that came included with Riker. They are identical to one another. As a nice little touch and nod, it would have been nice if they could have added like little indications that the settings have been changed from one phaser to the other, so they're not completely a single bar of green. But they are identical to one another. What isn't, though, identical is that data also comes included with a, a tricorder. I'm not sure specifically what type of tricorder this actually is. It's definitely a science tricorder, not necessarily a medical tricorder. It does have, again, a little screen on the inside. I don't know if you guys can actually see this or not. Uh, sticker placement, or how they printed it at least down below, is a little on the off-centered off side. You can see it's just a little bit on, more of an angle. But the fact it does actually open up is a nice touch. I mean, again, you just want to be a little bit careful, of course, closing anything with hinges this small. Just want to make sure that this doesn't come off from the rest of it. And that, again, just can clip into his existing hand. I mean, you can either, either use the hand that he had right now, or again, if you wanted to, you can also swap it out with, say, the same hand that he uses for the phaser. Uh, the only thing about it, though, is you just want to be careful, first of all, for him to properly use a tricorder, you're going to have to make sure it's opened up. And then from there, you just sort of slide it in between his hand. And the figure can be displayed with that as well. The last of Data's accessories, at least one thing that makes the most sense, above and beyond anything poker related, is the fact that the figure comes in clue with his little pet Spot. Little Spot. Spot is okay. I mean, he's nicely painted. I feel, if anything, if I was going to be a stickler for details, I feel like the stripes are a little bit too bar stark a little too dark than what he would have had actually in the series his striping is a little bit more a little more blended in i feel to his fur but i also feel like spots gained a lot of weight i know obviously over the span of the series as soon as data actually gets spot he does fill out in size this is kind of i guess more kitten spot as he certainly does get a lot bigger a lot fuller and a lot fatter as well uh this i guess you could use the existing hand that he has I mean, he doesn't really, again, have a hand necessarily for... He doesn't have, like in the instructions, for example, a spot-holding hand. But again, you can just, I guess, you can just rest it in his hand like that. Again, it's not, it doesn't really... It doesn't really have a proper hand. I guess, if anything, you probably just have spot displayed alongside Data's leg. Getting now a closer look at Data. Head sculpt-wise, I think it's pretty good. I don't know if it necessarily is as good as Riker. Riker set the bar pretty high. But considering that this is actually more of an android and the skin tone doesn't have to be like, well, again, bringing back in Riker so you guys can see there's smiling Riker. Good old smiling Riker. Uh, obviously, the complexion had to match a little bit closer to Riker, being him a little bit more paler. It, it actually does look quite a lot like Data. I have problems with like the eyes, for example. The eyes in this, actually, this one isn't so bad. Was it this one? I Yeah, this, this one on the poker head sculpt. The eyes are just a little bit... I don't want to say beady, but one of the downsides, unfortunately, of outlining everything in black panel lining is that it does make the eyes certainly a little bit more beadier than what he would look necessarily in the series. 
Head sculpt, though, again, from all the signs, I feel it does a decent enough job of giving us what Brent Spiner would certainly look like in the Star Trek Next Generation series. He's a lieutenant commander, so of course he's got the little pips there on the side to represent that. He's got the insignia communicator badge there also on the side. He's basically the same build and similar body to that of Riker. Uh, looking at the two, though, it's not the same torso. You can probably see, like Riker's, for example, he's got a slightly longer torso and slightly l broader shoulders. So simply, they're not just reusing the same bodies again. I feel maybe, if anything, the shoes, the feet at least, are similar, and probably they would have used maybe the lower legs. But they obviously gave us something a little bit different when it came to Riker's torso than that of Data's. Data's is a slightly smaller frame. Pants are, again, going to be exactly the same. The boots are a little bit more shinier to the otherwise more matte finish that he has for the rest of his outfit. And again, like this is the later series run uh, costume. So, of course, he doesn't have like the open collar. He doesn't certainly have the little striping that he would have had across the shoulder. And he certainly doesn't have to always worry that it's giving him a wedgie. Because apparently the original series single, uh, I guess the first... Yeah, the first season episode uh, outfits, those crew uniforms were extremely tight and very awkward because they basically were like one pieces. These are now like ones, of course, we always know the familiar of Cap Captain Picard pulling down his tunic. Basically, again, you, you know, you'd have a, a top a torso, a top shirt piece, and then lower legs. So that's basically what we're getting here with this release of data. Now for this articulation, it's going to be exactly the same of, of Riker. So his head's going to rotate, of course, all the way around. Head's going to look down and up and back and forth. Now the figure also does have what seems to be a secondary hinge, or at least it feels like there's a secondary hinge that's actually worked behind the collar. It could be maybe just my own eyes playing tricks on me. Maybe he actually only has just, yeah, maybe probably just only has a single hinge in the ball joint there. But the head does wrap, rock back and forth, up, down. And of course, yeah, you could rotate all the way around. You could do that with an android. You can't do that with a human. A human, that would just kill him instantly. Arms rotate all the way around. That's the same on both sides. You bring the arms out. Uh, with these arms, again, you can get 90 degrees or almost just, just a little less than 90 degrees. The arms, again, have a single swivel only in the bicep. That's really all you really need. Single hinge only in the elbow, which, again, to get anything above doing this really does rely on a secondary ball joint, a secondary hinge joint. He, he can't just use one. But, again, like with these Super 7 releases, they tend to usually only give us single hinges. Swivel on the, on the forearm, of course, the swiveling on the hands as well. The upper torso is going to be on a very good ball joint. A little on the louder side, yes, but again, you can rotate it all the way around. Legs do split. This one leg, I don't know why for one reason, is really tight. Again, I would much prefer tighter joints in these figures than overly loose joints. You can take the legs and move forward and move them back. Uh, a, a point I did certainly make, bringing back in Riker, smiling Riker, uh, the lower trunks here, actually the top of his pants, would be made of a softer plastic. This is hard plastic. The legs are obviously a hard plastic. But this section right here, just to conceal the joints, make things a little bit easier, they're using actually a softer, more pliable plastic here. Uh, again, he has a swivel at the top of the thigh. The figure has a single hinge only in the lower leg, which allows, of course, this part of the leg, the calf area, to rotate back and forth. And the feet also move up and down this way. And you can also rock back and forth uh, Data's feet. So, again, all in all, a good-looking figure. I, again, I just don't know the choices that were made on Super 7's part when it came to releasing this guy. I mean, again, when we got ourselves Riker, Riker is always the one I kind of consider to be the poker player. I mean, obviously, they all play poker. But, like, I feel like... Continuing that trend moving forward, is all the crew going to have something relating to poker? And the chips, I certainly feel, was a wasted part. I mean, obviously, he has the fanned out card. So, I mean, at least there's that, I suppose, if you want to keep things consistent that way. But then to waste a head, I feel, by giving him one with a visor. Will anyone ever really display the figure with a visor head data? Maybe, maybe not. I wouldn't. I would rather have used the plastic, I feel, instead to give a smirking lower head. Then if you wanted to pick up more than one data, you could have one data on the shelf until eventually we get a later later release lore. Get one data on the shelf in this outfit, of course, and then get one data at the same outfit, but with a completely different expression on his face instead. I think that's something that Super 7 should have really considered. Because again, like some of these accessories are questionable. I mean, again, with all the things and all the episodes that they can actually pull references from, I feel like just using poker always seems to be, I don't know, a bit of a cheap way to always go back to. As I do make one course correction in something I mentioned in the earlier end of the review, I did say that Data couldn't really get the violin close enough to his face. If you kind of have the hand right on the end, not so much in the neck of the violin, but rather on the end of the violin, it just barely touches his shoulders. Now, of course, you can have the bow. I think it's the name of the bow. You can have that then strunging the top of the violin. So it does look in a way, unlike Riker, who had a real harder time to really hold the trombone. <laughs> 
data at least can hold the violin a little bit more properly. Slightly smaller in size, you can also see as well, I've got the figure displayed here with spots. I do feel like Spot maybe should have added a few extra pounds. He needs to be a little bit bigger because of course, as he gets near the end of the series run, Spot's put on a lot of weight. This Spot can also relate. Uh, what do you guys though think of data? Let me know down below in the comments section. Do you feel like the accessories, say, let's, let's say the Super 7 included with the figure, do you think they're all justified or do you feel like some of them are a bit of a waste? I mean, yes, the positronic brain that he has, a little exposed section with a little cable that he has coming out, that made fine sense. But I still think like poker visor head wearing or head sculpt data just makes little to no sense. Do you guys agree? Do you guys disagree? Let me know down below in the comments section. What other accessories, keeping in mind with this particular outfit, because I I was also thinking of Sherlock Holmes data, but obviously you would have to have wore the Sherlock Holmes outfit. What are the accessories, not including the, with this figure right now, would you have liked to have seen Super 7 pack along with Lieutenant Commander data? Also, if you guys are interested and would like to get this one for yourself, I found Riker, I found data, and I found the upcoming Picard as Locutus, the Borg. All found them over on Entertainment Earth. If you guys are interested and would like to get this set for yourself, you can click the link down below in the video description. That link, by the way, will take you on over to Entertainment Earth as mentioned, but it also will also will give you 10% on anything that's currently in stock. It won't work necessarily for pre-orders, but if there's anything currently in stock, that affiliate link will take you 10% off right away. And then, of course, you can always save with the shipping savings that they have on a regular basis anyways. We're also going to be looking at, as already mentioned, we're going to be looking at Picard as Locutus of Borg. His review will be coming up right around the corner. If you guys in the meantime did enjoy this video, again, hit it with a like, hit that subscribe button down below, but most importantly, make sure you're coming back here on a regular basis. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.